Bepono is a, it's a lake-fed river, 435 kilometers long. The average run of fish in this river, estimated by PINRO, which has been running research in the river since in 1994, average between 65 to 80,000 fish. It's a, it's a very large, very large number. We're effectively in a, in a national park situation where Ryabaga Camp is on Russian Federation land and we have a lease and we are responsible for maintaining this, this resource. We have free flowing river that's very healthy, a safe haven for a thriving Atlantic salmon population. <laughs> Welcome to week four of our 2011 season. Uh, lots of familiar faces in the room. Very pleased to see you again here. Uh, for those of you, of you that are new, I'd like to explain uh, the program. Riabag is located on the east end of the Kola Peninsula, which actually strategically is a great place to maintain a healthy river. It's much more difficult much costlier to get here, which is one of the reasons Panoi is so special. It's a two hour helicopter ride from Murmansk. It's a full service camp with um, 30 plus staff, including helicopter crew, full time doctor, masseuse, uh, eight people in the kitchen, head chef, sous chef, pastry chefs, and, and uh, plus a lot of other five or six mechanics. pretty well equipped to, to handle any needs of our clients, two banyas, a gym, uh, helicopter fueling capability, multiple vehicles, the guest house, the little guest house, three moorages, hovercraft, sawmills. I think it's in a wilderness setting, it's pretty critical that you're self-sufficient and we are self-sufficient.
We are situated in the, in the Russian tundra. If we, if we look at the Kola Peninsula as a watch, the river is located at five o'clock. Murmansk is about one o'clock and we are 350 kilometers straight from Murmansk. The river is 430 plus kilometers long. It's a lake fed. It's a pretty smooth gradient river. Ponoy River Company, it's been issued the lease for the next, now we have 18 years left, for 87 kilometers. By far the best fly fishing water on the Ponoy. We have two camps, one based in the junction of the Riabaga tributary in the Ponoy and our second camp in the tributary of Brivieni. On Riabaga camp we have 11 beats. Uh, every beat it's average 7 to 8 kilometers long. This gives every boat with two anglers big chances of catching salmon. All the fishing is good at, on the Phanoi. The people talk about best pools, best beats, best plays. Over the years coming here, there's no real best beat. They vary year by year, they vary week by week. All the fishing is interesting. One of the reasons why Pono is so reliable is because we have two very defined runs of fish. We have the spring fishing with the summer run fish and we have the fall fishing with the fall run fish. Spring and summer is, is highlighted by masses of fish, surface action, fishing dry flies, very long days. Uh, you, you can fish in, in the middle of the night with 24 hours of daylight late May, beginning of June, when the season starts, we find an enormous amount of fish in the river. We keep very strict statistics and uh, for the last 18 years, spring fishing has produced an average of 40 to 42 fish per rod a week. This is for the last 18 years. The numbers, the numbers are large um, and we don't get super large fish here, but most weeks will produce fish close to 20 pounds in weight. It's not really the, the numbers, it's the ability to have some consistent fishing. Pono is a special place. 80 kilometers of different waters, like of full of fish, different fishing also. Like in the beginning, you're catching on a skating and a dry fly. On the surface, it's so exciting. I like the way they take. There's a lot of places in this river where you can work fish. You can get a boil or a wake or a follow and you can see it from the boat. And you can strip a little faster or slow the strip down or cover the fish again and you get it to come back. That's the cool thing for me. Fighting a fish is fighting a fish, but Atlantic Salmon take, you get some really spectacular takes. The dry fly fishing is really cool, for sure. You see everything. Whereas like with a, a wet fly, you may not know about every fish that's interested in the fly. If you're fishing a dry fly, you will see every fish that even thinks about chomping on that fly. So the longest the Panoy salmon might stay in the river is a, is a fall run fish that would overwinter under the ice, spend the entire next summer uh, continuing to make its way to its natal grounds and then spawning the following fall from when it entered. 
so 18 months in the river. Well, Panoi salmon prepare to stay in the river for 18 months without feeding. So they come as a football, you know, tight, round, big fish. They carry so much fat and their sides. It's like, it's, a, it's amazing. It's like sometimes four centimeters uh, thick, the sides of a salmon. In order for a salmon to, to sustain itself that long uh, in fresh water without eating, uh, it has to be an extremely powerful fish with, with uh, extensive fat reserve, muscle mass. These fish are, are unbelievably strong. Tiny fighting hard. Jesus. Ah, oh, well done. Oh, that's a big fish. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. That is a big fish. That is a big fish. <laughs> it's much thicker, much wider than any other salmon I've seen on the river. It is so strong as well for the size. We don't have a huge fish, but like 15 pound foreign salmon can just, you know, run forever. I mean, it's really remarkable fish. They're really hot. They're very strong fish. The fresh ones when they come in from the sea are prone to long runs and good fights. I mean, it's like, catching a, an ocean quality saltwater fish in a river with current. Every time you're getting contact, it's a fish that probably would spool you, will make a couple of 100, 150 meters run, would jump. If you are fishing wading, will be a very challenging run down river. If you're fishing it from the boat, most likely your guide would have to drop the anchor and take you to the shore in order to be able to bring the fish in. These fish are extremely strong. They're incredibly deep. Every single fish is definitely a fish that you will remember forever. As you move into the into the fall season, uh, days get shorter, uh, leaves start to change, temperatures start to drop. Very cold at night. The aurora borealis uh, shows beautiful colors across the skies. We're fortunate on Panoi to have the longest season on cola. We begin fishing last week in May and fish all the way through the first week in October. I think the Ponoi has probably the best combination of fish. I mean, very, very seldom happens that you go for more than 10, 15, 20 minutes or 30 minutes without either you or your, your fishing mate get, moves the fish, has a take,
Riavaca camp itself was uh, first established in 1991 by Gary Loomis and three other people, of which one we're very proud of still to have. Uh, now, the 21st season, how I work here. So from 91. When I arrived here, here was one or two tents who, where people lived. We installed some more. And slowly, slowly, our camp was born. Now it's like a civilized, a civilized village. We have uh, almost everything what you can have in even in big city. We have uh, hot water, cold water too. <laughs> He different heating systems, uh, we have uh, internet, we have uh, transport. It's like city. We don't have just metro tube, I mean, but uh, maybe any time. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite incredible, really, when you think that we're in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing and we bring together eight, ten different nationalities and they meld together both as fishers, guide teams. Uh, the, the staff of the Panoi River Company are dedicated to keeping the place a happy place and it works, everything works. I had the, the, the chance and the honor to be one of the guides here back in 98 uh, half of the stuff is still the same. It started uh, 94, 1994, so 18th, 18th season for me. The camp is great, uh, no, great relations with the management, uh, you know, we are friends. It's, I spend more, more time here than in my home now. <laughs> this is my 8th season, so, but I don't think I'm going to give up. It's so good here. No, I just love it. I would say that I don't have, you know, working companions. I feel that, you know, almost everybody in camp feels like family. When I started fishing, I started fishing for salmon. And the best place to fish for salmon is on the Kola Peninsula. And the best place on the Kola Peninsula is the Ponoi River. Well, welcome to the Ponoi world. It's a world of its own in the middle of the wilderness made up of people who enjoy being in that world which is all about catching fish. <laughs>